about music and every time you sing them. You're just singing from your heart and you mean what you're doing. You know, music is good, perfect, and all of that. But ain't nothing like if you're singing it out there, it's like your own soul and spirit. Yeah. Sing it to the Lord. You know, a frog can sing and a bird can sing. But one thing about it, you can sing it out your heart and your spirit. God will bless you. Y'all yeah. have a beautiful day here today of being happy new year. Let's start this year off the right. Amen. Let's start open your mouth. I mean, holler. Amen. Open your mouth here like you're doing at the ball game. Hey, let, let's not sit there home, some of us singing, some of us reading, some of us picking out things. There. Let's get to the Lord's word. Let's do it. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to look at people a little angry. Say I talk a little too much, but look here, this is the Lord's business. This ain't our business. This is God's business. We all need to be coming out on time. Sunday school starts at 9.45. Amen. Always, we always, you know, we got to have everybody. Everybody can pick in and help us out. So we just want to thank y'all. Didn't mean to make nobody mad, but God bless you and have a beautiful day in the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank the deacon so much for starting us off this morning. Again, thank everyone for joining us today for for 2022. Praise God. Amen. So you may. Amen. So you may. So my question to you, Pleasant Hill, what are you going to do with it? Amen. Amen. We made it to 2022. What are you going to do with it? Amen. I don't know about you. I'm going to praise God with it. Amen. I'm going to praise Him because I made it to this year. Amen. Not only I made it to this year, but he brought me through the year, last year. All the things, all the trouble that I saw last year, God brought me through. Amen. So we just praise God for bringing us through it. And we just praise God for all that he's done, for everything that he brought us through. We just praise God. So we just thank God for what he's done. Let's give God a hand clap for just bringing us through. Amen. He deserves a hand clap of praise for just bringing us through. Because it wasn't up because of us, there's a lot of folks that left here Amen. that planning on being here Amen. this year. But God allowed us to be here. Amen. So I don't know about you. I came to worship God today. I came to praise God today. I came to celebrate Him today because He's worthy to be praised. So let's give God some praise. Let's first of all start off with some responsive reading of His Word this morning. So if you would. If you have a program, let's start by reading God's Word this morning. Again, thank the deacons for starting the songs with a devotion. Old, old time and songs for turning the, getting us revved up this morning. You ought to be able to say, Yeah, my wife, we were doing bills yesterday. Uh, and I know you don't like to hear, but you ought to get your house in order. Amen. You ought to start off the new year. We start off every year getting our budget set for the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You ought to know what you're taking in and what's going out. Amen. A lot of you don't want to hear that, but you ought to know how much you make. And you ought to know how much is going out. You ought to understand who you owe and who you don't owe. So sit down, get your house in order. As a Christian, you ought to not have a bad name as one who won't pay for it. Amen. Amen. So as we get ready to go into worship this morning, let us worship God in responsive reading. Our responsive reading is going to be coming 
from two parts of scripture this morning, from Psalm 96, 1 through 4, and Lamentation 3, 22 through 25, and this going to read as follows. It says, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. This is a new year, 2022. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Let us sing. Proclaim the good news of salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all the people. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared from all of us. Listen. Though the Lord's mercies are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I hope in him all. The Lord is good to those that wait for him. To the soul who seeks him. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. If you are seeking God in 2022, God will provide. God will provide. God will provide. I don't care what you've been through in 2021. I told you on Friday night, let the past be your past. But in 2022, expect God to turn it around. Come on, choir. Sing today. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. For truly God is good and he is worthy of all the praise and all of the honor. We ought to give God some praise because we, we don't deserve to be here, but yet God saw fit to give us grace. And his mercy to see the first time in 2022. I don't know about you, but it's not about my own being, but it's because of God's grace and his mercy. So we ought to open up our mouth and we ought to tell God thank you this morning. Come on, open up your mouth and tell God thank you. You woke up this morning, you had a roof over your head, your family was doing fine, you had food in your refrigerator, you were clothed in your right mind, able to tell God thank you this morning. We owe God some praise this morning in this house. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Then I'll go if I have to go by my Oh, my God. 
Hey, y'all get y'all set up so we say happy birthday to him. He said, I ain't not set up. We're going to say happy birthday to you this morning. Because we love you and we're so happy that you celebrate the birthday. Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday. Sister Georgia Campbell, Sister Nadia Nix, who's doing nicely, Sister Clemmy Nix, 
And uh, please keep getting the same reason in your prayer. I know you're listening, listening in that service, but I got you. Every time he calls me, he said, don't you get down there and jump around and knock over that internet. I can't see that church. But he did let me know that he does miss being here. Amen. So y'all, let's keep him in our prayers and let's lift him up. Not only him, but uh, Brother Lane, brothers as well, and uh, Brother Leonard uh, Worthy and his wife. You know, things are happening to us in uh, our own, our very own church, but we are stronger together. We need each other's prayers. Amen. And look at those names. Take a picture of a memory photo and on your phone and throughout the week just say a quick prayer for them and uh, just ask God to comfort them where we cannot. Amen. Please remember also all those affected by COVID-19, our healthcare workers, our nation and its leaders, those in jail and in prison, all others that are sick and shut in in hospitals and nursing homes whose names we simply do not know at this time. Our bereavement prayer list goes out to the Davis Wilson Morrow family and the Simon family. If there are others, please let us know so we can present their name here because we do love to pray. Amen. And these are your announcements. Amen. Thank you, Minister Clay. I will announce it, brother. Sure, y'all. Brother, the good thing I'm talking to my mind, I said, I don't know if he's able to feel about me now. See, my God. And he was not in the book and said, where he got out of his heart. Father, you don't just see, able to feel. I'm going to put y'all on the bench. I'm going to go on down. One down. And I'm telling you, you won't, they won't get watching them down there. There you go. He went on track. You see him in the best you lie in the way to the end. Praise God. I think you better come to him. I'll give you your $90. Amen. 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 I just thank God I get the opportunity to turn 61 years old. Amen. Amen. God is I cannot tell you. I cannot put it into words. As I have grew up here in Pleasant View. And watch God do what he does. How good God has been. But I will tell you this. God is a faithful God. And I will make you this promise. I, 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 I'll make you this promise. Something I've learned about God. I've learned this about God. That if you will obey Him yes, yes, yes. and obey His word, God will be faithful. Yes, yes, will. Oh, yes, will. If His word said it, I promise you. He gonna do exactly what his word says. That's all I can tell you. If you just do what his word says, do. you may see others get ahead of you, you make others see others move around, but you just stay the course. And God will do things for you that you will just, in the end, it will blow your mind. At the age of 61, I never, never, ever would have believed it if you were told. But God, come on, Vickers, come as we get ready to take up our offering. I can't tell you how to be blessed financially, but I can tell you this, because I'm not a financial wizard. 
But I can tell you what the Word of God said. The Word of God said this in Malachi. If a man rob God, yes, sir. Will a man rob God, yet you rob me in tithe and all? He said, See, will I open up the windows of heaven and pull you out of this that you won't have room enough to receive? Why don't you try God today and see what he'll do for you? Let us get ready to bless God today.
of you know that you're blessed? I heard somebody say, if I can look back over my life, I can see
beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are there in their lives, Lord God. So, Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Now, Father God, I can't do nothing without you. I need you, Father God. And now I look to the hill from which cometh my help. Lord, I know all of my help coming from the Lord who made both heaven and earth. Lord, use us today for your glory that you may get all the praise and all the honor. For it's in Jesus' precious name we give you praise. And the saints of God say amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, while you're still standing, Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. Verse number 16. Behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coal and the fire, who bring forth an instrument for his work. I have created the spoiler to destroy. <coughs> No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, said the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. The pleasant hill and to all of you to minister, claim to minister Nick, so glad to have him with us today. To all of you. So glad to have our very own with us back home all the way from California. <laughs> so glad to have Sister Reed with well, us. She's always going to be okay. <laughs> She's a singleton, but you know, 20 years later, thank you, you always be <laughs> We just praise God that they made it this far safe. We're so excited to have it. I know Mom is just uh, sound has been kicked to the curb. I wanted to know that. So uh, we're so gracious to have them. So gracious, pleasant hill to have all of you here in this new year. So glad to have all of you to be here. This is the new year, 2022. And my question to you, what are you going to do with this year? Talked about on Friday night, 2021 is now behind you. You can do nothing about your past. So quit looking in the rearview mirror. And what we have before us, Isaiah is now beginning to set something of an example for us that we need to understand in context. And I want to read the same set scripture 
quote you from the Message Bible that reads verse 16 and 17. It said, I've created the blacksmith who fires up his forge and makes a weapon designed to kill. I also created the destroyer. I want you to notice, I created, I also created the destroyer. But verse 17 says, but no weapon can hurt you has ever been forged. Any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. This is what God's servant can expect. I'll see to it that everything works out for the best. Yes. God decree. Yes. If I could use for a subject this morning, I want to this afternoon, I want to talk from the simple subject of it won't work. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Tell you maybe it won't work. It won't work. It may have worked in 2021. <laughs> Devil, you may have pull that trick on me last year, but it ain't gonna work this year. When I was a lot younger, it may have worked, but it ain't gonna work this year. One of the reasons why behind all of this, you need to understand something. As a child of God, God's got your back. Yes. All of this, you need to understand something uh, 2022, uh, 2021 was rough. Mm -hmm. You, 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 it, 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 we, we thought 2020 was something. We thought 2019 was something. We thought 2020 was something. 2021 was something. But we need to understand that. God has given us 2022. Yeah. Yeah. And what we need to do, quit looking at what happened last year. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these folks still have trust in all. Yeah. You believe me, just watch the news. Yeah. They still, it's still they president. They still think he in all. That's they ain't been out. <laughs> but if you're not careful as a child of God, you will let the things of the past hold you the rest of your life. But you need to put the devil on notice. You need to go ahead and give him a text. Go ahead and text him. Go ahead and tweet him. Go ahead.
Who could be against us? God's got my back. Brother Paul gave a, a, a vivid illustration this morning of the young lady that they went to a prayer meeting and they would go pray about it stopping rain. And everybody else came in short pants and a lot short pants and shirts to, pray, to the prayer meeting. And the old lady came to the meeting in galoshes with a raincoat and an umbrella. The old woman said, I thought we come to pray for rain. See, we got the we, we, we got mixed up. What did you come to pray for? See, and, 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 and a lot of times we got our priorities out of order. If God is our God, then we gotta be like a lot and let us go ahead and call on that God. He can go ahead and let him call. But when we get ready to call on our God, go ahead and let him greet him and drown the offering. But when we call on our God, let him answer. And when our God answers, we're going to suck up everything inside. See, the, 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 the one thing we get scared of, this is my first point of the text, is that we get scared of, and this is what makes most Christians shake in their boot. And this is where we got to get a good, firm foundation. And it starts here at the church. It starts at Bible study. It starts in Sunday school. It starts with getting some devotion time. It starts with, listen, no weapon that's formed against us. The minute most of us see a cloud start coming, we break and run. Listen, sometimes the enemy is just going to kick up dust. <laughs> the word of God said the enemy is like a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. Now, what the, lion, the reason why the lion roar, he wants somebody to break him roar. <laughs> Listen to what listen to what I'm saying. He wants somebody to break and run because normally the scary one is gonna break from the herd. Baby, if you stick with the word, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You stick with the word, no weapon that formed against you. Show cross. You see, a lot of us, we don't trust the word. We won't stick with what the word said. The word said, this is what you need to do. God said, tithes and often when the time, things get tough, the minute we won't do is start with, Lord, don't look like it. Don't, don't, don't. Trust God. Trust God. If God said it's going to work, I promise you, it's going to work. Many things start getting tight. We want to withdraw from God, but trust God. Listen, listen, they don't form this, this, this. Listen, the enemy will sometimes start piling up rocks. You're going to see him over there. He's going to be, you know, that next. You know, I'm going to get ready for him. I'm going to get, but don't worry about him. God said, no weapon. That's form against you. Listen, no weapon. No weapon that's for. I don't care what they do. They can talk all they want to. They can say what they want to. They can form all they want to. They can talk about you all they want to. They can do whatever they want to. But it won't work. Yes, Lord. Let them talk. One of the, the key things that we need to understand that is to let them talk. Mm -hmm. Let them talk. You just do what God has told you to do. Yeah. Listen, one of the things that we know is this, is that if David had listened to the talk of the people, he would have never defeated Goliath. Okay. 
Because listen, what all David heard was how big Goliath was. See, and that's our problem. All we hear is how big our Goliath is. But all David kept saying, who is this uncircumcised for this thing that's talking about my God? And what you got to do is put the devil on notice. Do you know the God that I serve? My God is so big. My God is so awesome. I'm going to let you know that today. Today. Yes, sir. You got to put it on notice. David said to the Philistine, come to me. You come to me with a sword, a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you into the name of the Lord of the host, the army of Israel, whom you have defiled. You need to let him know you ain't messed with me. You done messed up with God. You need to let him know it won't work. You done messed up with other folks. But I got God on my side. Now you talking to a fall that got in five rocks. And the same shot. You talking about a boy that got five rocks and the same shot. You may be wondering why did he pick up five rocks. And all they needed were one. But you need to know a little bit of history. Goliath had four other brothers. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. 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 You need to look at it. He had yeah. four of them. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. You know, hey, what? Just in case. What rock did they take down? Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. You got six bullets just in case. Yeah. The thing that you need to know, God led the rock straight to Goliath there with one shot. Yeah. Oh, God. Look at God. One shot. One shot. When you follow what God says, you get one shot. One shot. Yes, Lord. God got my back. This time you done messed with the wrong one. God got my back. Listen, 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 listen. Next thing you need to know, it won't prosper. He, he said, it, it may fall, they may power up, yeah. they may get a power up, jazz, or the jazz, but then listen, it won't rock. They, 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 they can get them, they can get ready to throw them, but they won't work. Listen, the thing, they, 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 listen, they, they can do whatever. Listen, they won't succeed. See, prosper meaning it, to succeed, to flourish, to be strong, to be effective, to be powerful. Powerful to be victorious. It means that it won't work. It won't work. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they try to make it work. It won't work no kind of way. Because guess what? Let the devil know that no weapon formed against you. God said it won't work. It won't work against you in 22. I don't care how it tried. It won't work against your money. It won't work against your health. It won't work against your children. It won't work against your marriage. It won't work against your home. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. You got to turn out. It won't work. See, you need to know that when Joseph was put in the pit, he knew it wouldn't work. When Joseph was put in prison, he knew it wouldn't work. He knew that God had his back. Every time you read the story, you need to be reminded that it ended with a period that said that God was with Joseph. And when God is with you, it won't work. Because the end of the story in Genesis 50 and 20 says, but as for you, you meant it for evil against me, but God meant it for good. In order that he may bring about this day. Look at God. You meant to kill me. But God done it for our good. Look at God. 
look at God, look at God. Not only, not only will it won't prosper, but lastly, you need to know that it won't work. He said, don't worry about that tone. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about how they talk about you. Don't worry about how they lie on you. Don't worry about how they talk about you. He said, every tongue that rises up against you is already condemned. Yes. Let God deal with the folks that talk about you. Yeah. See, don't work. Don't you try and go and get them back. Because what's going to happen, you're going to mess your Christianity up. Yeah. Let God deal with them. Let God deal with them. Because he said, listen, remember what I read to you in the message Bible? He said, they going to be made out to be a liar. God has already dealt with them. The thing that you need to know that every time is going to shall be condemned. God has already established that. You don't have to deal with it. Quit trying to deal with folks that God has already said they are liars. They came from the pit. The devil is a liar. They are father of lies. You need to know where they come from. They won't work. Today, rain all the rain when we got married, and one of our family members said that when it rains when they get married, when you get married, you know, this, this, this is why you don't put stock in family. Oh. You know, married will last six months. 40 years later. Okay. Get in the Word of God. Right. Yes. Yes. And let the Word yes. do your talk. Yes. Yes. Let the Word speak for you. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. See, sometimes they talk about your age. Mm -hmm. They talk about your color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They talk about their the wrong sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They talk about you too old. Well, you know, he, 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 they, they told me one time for my last interview, they told me, well, he, he can't talk to management a lot. I'm like, really? I thought that's what you paid me. And you know, I almost became like Cain and Abel. I almost got better. But then I thought, I said, I get paid good money to do what I do. <laughs> So I let him talk. 
Hat sie und ihr Heiligen. In 2022. I think I checked yesterday, Miss Nick, the world I got a picture yesterday. You got a lot. To let him talk. See, one thing I learned about Jesus when he was headed up Galapagos Hill, when they was trying him in a crooked cord, he just let him talk. He said, You said, but he just let him talk. He said, You said, but he just let him talk. They tried him and he didn't say a mumbling word. They tried him in a crooked cord and he didn't say nothing. He just let him talk. But guess what? He had the final say so. Because as they marched him up old rugged hill, God got them. They took him up old rugged hill and nailed him to old rugged cross. When they stretched him wide and nailed him there for my sin and your sin and then raised him high and he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died for you and I. When he died, they took him down and put him in a bar or two. Wasn't because of nothing that he done. But he was just letting them know it won't work. But early Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, he let the devil know everything you've done to me before. He rose with all power in his hand. That you and I may have the right to the tree of life. All this stuff you've been suffering with in 2021, you don't have to look back on it no more. You can start your year off right. By accepting God as your Lord and Savior. Amen. You don't have to go through what you didn't do. You can listen to them talk. You can let them know it won't prosper. All you got to do is accept them as your Lord and Savior. The doors of the church is open. Will there be one? But you still got blood warming and warm in your body. Right. For the first Sunday yes, yes. of 2022. But you still got time. Would that be one? Would that be one? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tell the enemy. 